Chapter 621, Forgotten Traces, 1. The demons of the Rising Sun City basically had been subdued by Shen Yang Xiao, and the next step would be to rebuild the city. But Shen Yang Xiao was currently being depressed. In order to rebuild the Rising Sun City, relying on their number of more than a hundred people was practically impossible. If it was in other places, Shen Yang Xiao could simply pay people to work. However, the problem was that the average people were afraid to step into the barren land. In fact, when other people enter the barren land to rebuild the city, they could ask for assistance from their country after cleaning up the demons in the entire city that was assigned to them. But Shen Yang Xiao's situation was very special. The demons in her city wandered around all over the city streets. Even if the construction team's people came, the demons would probably frighten the crap out of them upon entering the city. Moreover, Shen Yang Xiao was very clear that the Emperor of Longzhuan Empire, without a doubt, disliked her for being a warlock. Because she came from the Vermilion Bird Clan, the Emperor might indeed have no choice but to give her something on the surface but he would certainly do something in secret to hinder her. The Rising Sun City was the greatest evidence. Shen Yang Xiao also had a choice which was to ask Shen Feng for help. Unfortunately, this was not her style. She would not rely on her being a second generation rich kid. She would use her own strength to build the Rising Sun City. For various objective and subjective reasons, although Shen Yang Xiao won the Rising Sun City, it was still in ruins. She was depressed and sulky while sitting on the broken stone stairs. She looked desperate and powerless. How convenient things would be right now if I did not become a thief in my last life but an engineer. In minutes, tall buildings will surely rise from the ground. Then there would be no reason for her to be deep in sorrow from this. Du Lang strived to adapt to the situation of peaceful coexistence with the demons in the past few days. His current state of mind had improved. He walked to Shen Yang Xiao's side. Watching the sighing little guy, he took a seat beside her. Actually, I was surprised. You can take control of this city in such a way. I thought that this time, coming to the barren land with you, there would be a number of deaths. Du Lang smilingly said, he was really in a good mood. Am I the kind of person who jumps into the fire pit like that? Shen Yang Xiao gave him a look. I guess I was wrong. Du Lang laughed. In the past few days, Shen Yang Xiao had been sullen because of the issue of rebuilding the city. He saw it in his eyes and knew that this heaven-defying youth was still unable to handle some ordinary things. This also let Du Lang think that Shen Yang Xiao was still a human not God. Are you worried that you can't find someone to rebuild the city? Du Lang asked. Shen Yang Xiao nodded. Ordinary people would not be happy to come to the barren land. In Long Xuan Empire's side, I guess that even if I sent someone to pass the news, there would be no movement even after several months. His Majesty does not like you? Du Lang asked. You guess. I should not have asked. In fact, what you lack right now are people. As long as there are enough people to rebuild the city, it's not too difficult. I have talked with Uncle Ju yesterday for a while. The people under his hands are self-reliant experts. They can build houses and buildings in this kind of land without any problem. As long as we can find enough people, they can help you rebuild the city. Du Lang and Uncle Ju saw that Shen Yang Xiao was feeling distressed. They discussed privately for several times. Everything else was easy to solve. The only problem was people. Although the demons of the Rising Sun City were obeying orders, the lower demon's intelligence was too low to participate in the real construction of the city. Chapter 622, Forgotten Traces, 2. I know that already. Shen Yang Xiao sighed. She was well off but there were no people. She really felt depressed. I know a place where you might find someone you need. Du Lang said. Where? Forgotten traces. Shen Yang Xiao was slightly surprised. Forgotten traces did not belong to any country. It was located at a crevice between two countries. It was only a giant canyon. The battle between the demons and gods had left a gap in the open plains. And that was the forgotten traces. There was no jurisdiction there nor was there any legal control. It was called Forgotten Traces because people who were there were basically forgotten by the world, and many strange things could be found in Forgotten Traces. No country would extend its hand there because a group of outlaws were living in that place. The most wanted criminals from all countries would try their best to escape there, 
a place where they could be safe. Another thing that the Forgotten Traces were known for was its slave market. Slave markets had already been banned in the four countries. However, in the Forgotten Traces, slaves who were similar to pigs and dogs and had no dignity could still be bought. The slaves purchased from Forgotten Traces were legal in the other four countries. In the four countries, Many nobles and wealthy businessmen would purchase some slaves either as laborers or as targets for venting. Any harm to slaves, even death, was the power of slave owners. Are you pertaining to the slaves of forgotten traces? Shen Yang Xiao frowned slightly. She did not like this kind of oppression that did not have any human rights. Or maybe because she came from a modern world with freedom and equality that she was somewhat conflicted about the loss of human rights in this world. Yes. Du Lang nodded, there are many slaves in that place, as long as you have enough gold coins, you can buy enough slaves there, and those slaves are all trained, very few would rebel against their owners, even if they have to work in the barren land, they will not have any complaints, Shen Yang Xiao listened quietly, but her brows were never released from being tightly locked, Du Lang saw that she was not happy and said, you may not agree to such kind of thing. But this is the only way to solve the problem. Shen Yang Xiao thought for a while and stood up. I will go to Forgotten Traces. You choose a few people from the mercenary corps to accompany me. I will buy some slaves back. Shen Yang Xiao felt awkward when she mentioned about buying slaves. It must be said that this unscrupulous thief had a rather upright nature in the depths of her heart. There were some things she could do and some things were difficult for her to accept completely. Hearing Shen Yang Xiao's answer, Du Lang also breathed a sigh of relief. If they couldn't rebuild the city for a long time, they would have to keep living in such a dilapidated place. The others would not say it, but they were already quite alarmed about the roof of the building they were staying at which could fall down at any time. No one died in the hands of the demon but they would be buried alive by stones in their sleep. That would be extremely aggrieving. The group of people discussed a lot. Du Lang sent all six wolves to accompany Shen Yang Xiao, Lan Feng Lai, Fu Tu, Vermilion Bird, and Small Phoenix also followed. The male phoenix and female phoenix stayed in the city to prevent any long-sighted people from playing their ideas. Shi Yang Xiao's group only took 32 carriages. After explaining the situation to the crowd, Shen Yang Xiao set out with a group of people and left the Rising Sun City. Chapter 623, Forgotten Traces, 3. Along the way, thanks to Futu's aura, their path went smoothly without any interference. Rather than encountering the military officers at the station on the borders of Long Xuan Empire and be questioned about what they were doing, Shen Yang Xiao simply moved forward through the edges of the barren land. To think that they could travel in the barren land as if it was safer than the outside made them vomit blood. Forgotten traces could be said to be the largest trading market in the Radiance continent. There was nothing in there that you could not buy as long as it existed. From all the different kinds of precious and astonishing treasures to all the different kinds of magical beasts, everything was in that place. But there was a rule in the Forgotten Traces. No matter what you bought, you could not ask for its origin. Shen Yang Xiao reached the land of the Forgotten Traces after ten days. She stood on the plains, looking at the canyon from where she was standing. The land they were going to was truly amazing. As they continued their journey into Forgotten Traces, they could see the houses built in the ravine. The ground was dirty, and there were a lot of worn-out buildings everywhere. The place looked a lot like a slum. The whole canyon was dry and hot and the thick smell around it made the people feel uncomfortable. In such a messy place, one could see a brightly dressed nobleman and a wealthy businessman walking on the street. Behind them, there were a lot of people following after them. They had dull eyes, and their arms and legs were chained up. They were slaves. These slaves were following behind their owners as if they were animals. Come and take a look at the strong young and adult slaves who are physically fit and in good physical condition. Here are young female slaves. As the only place in entire Radiance continent where slave markets were legal, 
There were a lot of slave traders loitering around the forgotten traces. There were slaves kneeling on the wooden platforms. There were chains around their limbs and two thick iron collars that tightly clung around their necks. They had disheveled hair and wore tattered clothes that covered their last bit of dignity. They were filthy from head to toe. A merchant that traded slaves had a whip in his hand as he tightly held onto it and waved it around. Without any cares. He flung the serpent-like whip upon the slaves. It is really uncomfortable in here. As a priest, Mild Wolf found it hard to bear the cruelty of the slave markets in this place. He watched as a young girl huddled and shivered under the whip of the merchant. For such a place to exist in the Radiance Continent, I don't know what the people in here are thinking. Fire Wolf could no longer bear to continue watching the scene and looked away. The six wolves looked at Shen Yang Xiao who was walking in front of them. Since entering the Forgotten Traces, Shen Yang Xiao had not uttered even a single word. They didn't know that among them all, the person who could not bear this the most was Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao's eyes had never been this cold. She looked at the slaves who were yet to be sold and the slaves that had been sold along the way. She looked at those who had already been thoroughly brainwashed and were shuddering on the ground while they were being scolded by the slave traders as they begged for the client's favor. They were like animals being traded, exposing their teeth and muscles as they looked forward to be bought. Suddenly, there was a buzzing noise, and a riot broke out in front of the crowd ahead. A shirtless brawny man was pulling a thin and frail girl as they pushed the crowd to move forward. Behind them, there were five or six fat men chasing them with whips in their hands. The crowd formed a natural barrier blocking them. Under the constant strike, the brawny man flew to the ground. The young girl whom he was pulling also flew away and directly slammed into the ground in front of Shen Yang Xiao's feet. Chapter 624, Forgotten Traces, 4 The person who was chasing after them immediately pressed the brawny man firmly on the ground. A fat man fiercely stepped on the brawny man's face, ramming it to the ground. Run. Who lets you run? Are you tired of living? The fat man yelled as he waved the leather whip in his hand and hit the man. The brawny man endured the severe pain he felt and stared at the little girl in front of him. Little Jiran. The little girl sat up on the ground in horror and turned to look at the battered and exhausted brawny man. Big tears started rolling down from her eyes. Please, don't beat him. I won't run away. I won't run away anymore. The little girl cried continuously as she crawled before those people. The ugly guy grabbed the little girl's hair and pulled her up, touching the little girl's face with his hand. Slut. At such a young age. You actually know how to seduce men for your life. I think you are really vicious to the utmost degree. Since you like to seduce people, I would let others see how cheap of a beach you are. After saying that, the man pressed the little girl on the ground. The man's fat body was pressing her as he crazily tore her clothes. Don't. Shrill screams erupted through the crowd. Yet the crowd around them seemed to be accustomed to this kind of thing since they all just laughed and watched the cruel scene before them. Seeing the ugly scene that was about to play, Shen Yang Xiao could no longer stand still. Looking at the little girl who was underneath the man, she seemed to recall herself from her past life. When she first entered the organization, she suffered a lot of abuse. Then at some point, someone rescued her. Now, she absolutely could not just watch with folded arms. A petite figure had flitted through the crowd before she ruthlessly made the fat pig fly away from the girl's body. The fatty figure fell to the ground. Several of the strong men were surprised as they looked at Shen Yang Xiao who went near the little girl. That exquisite face almost made everyone breathless in an instant. Shen Yang Xiao frowned and pulled up the little girl who was shivering on the ground. She decisively unbuttoned her coat and draped it over her. She could endure slaughtering and could tolerate this slave market. However, she could not absolutely tolerate men humiliating those of the same gender as her. Women were never the weakest people in the world. Thank you. Little Ju panicked as she looked at the beautiful young girl in front of her eyes. Obviously, she was the same age as herself, but Shen Yang Xiao had an admirable temperament. Vicious Wolf. Shen Yang Xiao called. When Vicious Wolf saw Shen Yang Xiao's actions, he secretly cheered. Hence, upon hearing Shen Yang Xiao calling out his name, he immediately walked to her. Yes, take care of her. 
Shen Yang Xiao looked at the frightened little Jew before she looked at Vicious Wolf. She then casually went towards those fat pigs. Those rigid fatty people began to slightly shrink their necks when they saw Shen Yang Xiao approaching them. They knew based on their outfits that they must have an extraordinary background. They were only small merchants in the slave market and could only show their arrogance before the slaves. However, in front of the noble guests, they were just some dirt. This this guest. What are you doing? These slaves were not disciplined enough, so they aren't that obedient. Please forgive us if there was any offense. A fat man wiped the cold sweat on his face. In Forgotten Traces, arguing with the guests was absolutely not allowed. Chapter 625, Forgotten Traces, 5 Here, the natives treat all the guests as their source of food and clothing. If anyone dared to offend a guest in Forgotten Traces, then they could no longer stay here ever again. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes and stared at the brawny man whose face was being stepped on. Let him go. The fatty man jumped away immediately. The brawny man sat up from the ground and looked confusedly at the beautiful little girl. How much gold? Shen Yang Xiao asked. What what? I said how much would it cost to buy these two? Shen Yang Xiao took a deep breath and asked. Her face was sullen. When the fatties heard it, they immediately put up a charming smile. This, to be honest, this little slut had already been purchased by another client. If you want a kind of person similar to this little slut, we have a lot of slaves similar to her and all of them are well behaved and would absolutely satisfy you. Shen Yang Xiao coldly groaned. Such nonsense, I want them both. As to how much money you want. Just say it. Those fatties showed a distress appearance. They did not want to offend this guest but that little Jew had already been bought by another customer. While the group of fatties hesitated, a rambling voice suddenly came. Is this how the forgotten traces do their business? It's ridiculous. Even the slaves here are not properly disciplined. A handsome young man in his twenties emerged from the crowd and following behind him were several strong men. In the hands of every burly man. They were holding at least three or four sluggish slaves. Those merchants saw the emergence of young man and immediately welcomed them. This young master, please listen to our explanation. We will give little duty you immediately. Please don't be angry. The young man smirked and ignored what they were saying. He looked behind Shen Yang Xiao and saw little Ju, he sneered, indeed, this cheap slut is the most rubbish of them all, in a blink of an eye. She's already clinging on to a new client. Little Ju's body shivered and didn't dare to utter a reply. The youth immediately saw Shen Yang Xiao and examined the extremely beautiful young girl from head to toe. Tsi, Tsi. This beautiful young lady, this despicable slave is incompatible with your identity. Having her around will only tarnish your beauty. The young man was amazed by Shen Yang Xiao's appearance. A gentle smile was plastered on his lips as he waved his hand and immediately, his servants brought several young girls in front of Shen Yang Xiao. These little girls were all wearing chains on their limbs. They walked in front of Shen Yang Xiao and immediately knelt obediently on the ground. Their gloomy eyes were overcast. It was as if they were obedient dolls that were being played with. These are the children that I've picked from here. Not only do they have a fair appearance and are well behaved, they are also very clever. They can easily do something with just a few adjustments. The young man smiled and said as if he didn't mind someone buying what he had just bought and surrendering them. Shen Yang Xiao frowned, the other person's flattering attitude made her feel very annoyed, and it also made her confuse even more. This young man's repeated explanation were the crucial point. He wanted the girl behind her and was willing to trade with more slaves. For an unruly slave girl to be paid with more slaves, it was very confusing in itself. As for the other person's rhetoric, Shen Yang Xiao didn't take it seriously. The reason why this man was patience was either because of her appearance or something else entirely. Whichever it was though, she did not care that much. This was the only thing she was sure of. Chapter 626 You have more money than me? Compared to the slaves who had already lost their sanity and dignity, she would rather buy someone like Little Ju who still knew how to resist. I'm sorry, I do not intend to change the slave. Shen Yang Xiao crossed her arms around her chest and there was a trace of disapproval on her face. The young man looked distracted at first before he immediately laughed and answered, but this child is my first choice. Oh? 
Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrow. But have you already paid for her? Not yet. I had just taken a fancy with her when a slave went and grabbed her. So I didn't have the time to pay for it. The young man smiled. Shen Yang Xiao slightly smiled and said, How could it be yours when you have not even paid for her yet? Shen Yang Xiao said before she took out some gold coins from her storage ring. She treated the gold coins in her hand as if it was just beans when she casually threw them on the ground, issuing a crisp sound. Those merchants watched dizzily as ten gold coins were tossed in front of their eyes. Their eyeballs were itching to come out of their socket. Shen Yang Xiao faintly swept her gaze at them, her eyes asking if those were enough. The merchants swallowed their saliva and had a hard time finding their voice. They helplessly watched Shen Yang Xiao grabbing a pile of gold coins again and throwing it on the ground. The price of an average slave only cost a few gold coins, while the price for special male slaves might be higher. However, for just the two seemingly ordinary slaves, Shen Yang Xiao just casually threw ten gold coins. What's even more frightening was that the second time she threw the gold coins, the amount of gold coins scattered in the ground were at least 100. These two average slaves could actually be bought in such a high number. Those merchants were not able to remain calm. Just as they were preparing to shamelessly sell Little Ju and the brawny man to Shen Yang Xiao, the young man suddenly laughed. It turns out that this lady likes to play it like this. Well then, I will accompany you. The young man used his finger to signal his servant to go forward. The servant behind him immediately went to take a wooden box from their storage ring. The young man kicked the wooden box causing the gold coins inside to roll on the ground. This is 10,000 gold coins. I want the little girl. Pretty lady, you should know that the highest bidder wins. After that, the young man gave Shen Yang Xiao a wink. 10,000 gold coins. The merchants felt that their hearts were about to jump out of their throats. All their slaves together were only worth a few thousand of gold coins. But now, there was actually someone who would spend 10,000 gold coins just to buy a young female slave who was yet to be trained. God knew how lucky they were. Don't say that it was only these merchants who were dumbfounded. Even the other slave traders who were watching the scene felt like vomiting blood. They were genuinely itching to let this nouveau riche meet their own slaves so they could make a lot of money in a minute. 10,000 of gold coins, how many slaves did they need to sell to earn such amount? The highest bidder? Shen Yang Xiao looked at the young man's proud face. There was a sneer at the corner of her mouth. In the next second, under the astonishing gazes of all people, Shen Yang Xiao touched her storage ring that was on her finger and opened it. In a flash, a waterfall of shiny gold coins fell down from her fingertips onto the ground. As the clinking sounds covered the noisy streets, countless of gold coins spread on the ground and became like a golden spring that was deep enough to cover Shen Yang Xiao's feet with golden water in the blink of an eye. At this moment, everyone held their breath and watched the gold coins piled up. They were all stunned in place. A real nouveau riche. Chapter 627. You have more money than me? 2. The gold coins spread over the ground and flashed before the eyes of all the dogs. The proud smile on the corner of the young man's mouth was shattered at this moment. The crowd around them had been completely shaken by these scenes of squandering money. They had seen money, but they had never seen such amount of money before. Looking at the gold coins falling from Shen Yang Xiao's ring people's hearts were jumping crazily. The gold coins that had piled up on the ground had reached tens of thousands, but the beautiful young lady had no plan of stopping at all. The gold coins which were flowing like a waterfall issued clinking sounds, and every sound struck the heart of the bystanders. Most of the people who had come to the forgotten traces were wealthy figures and people who had dispersed million gold coins all night were also not few. But these people had bought rare treasures. They had never seen anyone willing to lay down nearly 100,000 gold coins for just two slaves. What's more, it did not stop at that amount. People were guessing how much gold coins did Shen Yang Xiao's storage ring contained in the end in order to make the gold coins flow like a waterfall. The expression on the young man's face became more and more ugly as gold coins continued to pile up at Shen Yang Xiao's feet. He had thought that the tens of thousands of gold coins he had readily released was already been very valiant, 
but he did not expect that the other party was completely an aberrant existence, who would spend hundred thousands of gold coins for a worthless slave girl. Was this little girl insane? She must be insane. Little Jew, under vicious wolf's protection, watched Shen Yang Xiao's spendthrift behavior. Her watery eyes were filled with excitement and incredulity. The mental state of the six wolves was no better than these crowds. They knew that Shen Yang Xiao was rich. In the past several incidents, they had experienced Shen Yang Xiao's generous spending of money. When they took over the task of the barren land, each of them received at least 100,000 gold coins. At that moment, the six wolves thought that they had been acknowledged. They have actually such value in Shen Yang Xiao's mind. But when they saw Shen Yang Xiao's idea of emptying the gold coins in the ring for a slave, they wanted to cry. I. it wasn't that their value was high, but because a certain Novorish had a massive amount of money and there was basically no place to put it anymore. So she just gave them such a generous reward. The six wolves secretly decided to whine and cry to their own head that Shen Yang Xiao was evil once they got back. This was cheating them. You deceived their fragile hearts. Regardless of what other people's thoughts were, a certain Nouveau Riche stayed calm and continued to spread gold coins on the ground. You think you have more money than me? That is simply ridiculous. Don't you know that behind me is the state treasury of Longzhuan Empire? I can just simply take the nation's savings out to kill you in seconds. In a way, a certain Novorish's thinking was shameless and her behavior was very wretched. However, in the eyes of those who had no idea of the circumstances, Shen Yang Xiao was a fat golden sheep. One sneeze would spurt out countless gold. How could the young man possibly contend with this unscrupulous thief who used the state treasury as her own warehouse? After seeing the gold coins at the foot of Shen Yang Xiao which had piled up into a hill, the young man's mouth twitched and walked away without a word. The feeling of being slapped with money by a young girl was a thing that a man could not stand. The people around the youth also immediately tidied up the boxes that had fallen on the floor before quickly turning away. Watching the embarrassed figure of the young man wandering away, Shen Yang Xiao lifted up her lips and turned her palms. Finally, she closed the ring and stopped the money competition. Chapter 628 You have more money than me? 3. Nevertheless, the gold coins that fell to the ground were still dazzling. Several merchants had already drooled and were dazed under such circumstances. Seeing that Shen Yang Xiao had pulled back her hand, several merchants crawled to the ground where the gold coins were spread. The dogs gazed up at the god of wealth and respectfully said, You are the noblest woman in the world. Would you really spend so many gold coins to buy these two slaves? The merchant asked while wiping the drool from his mouth. These people almost put the gold coins under her feet into their mouth. Shen Yang Xiao threw them a faint look and said that with a light tone, of course not. Bang! Everyone's jaws fell to the ground. What was with that answer? Just now, it was clear that after that young man flung 10,000 gold coins, a certain someone waved her hands and then gold coins flowed like a waterfall to beat him, blinding every dog's eyes. But now that the young man turned away, someone would not admit it. The smiles on the faces of several merchants completely froze. Shen Yang Xiao patted her sleeves and calmly said, here are 130,000 gold coins. According to the market price here, one slave is worth 10 gold coins, if you can give me 13,000 slaves, then the money will be yours. What what? Those merchants wondered whether their ears were hearing wrong or not. They said in a grave tone, but weren't you fighting with that guest for that slave? Shen Yang Xiao blinked her eyes then raised her hand to pat her forehead and said, Oh right, I forgot about it. The merchants wanted to cry. Don't forget such thing at this moment huh? Are you actually just playing with our tiny hearts? Then deduct 10,001 gold coins for these two slaves, the rest of the money. You'll give me a number of slaves according to the amount. Shen Yang Xiao said using an I'm very negotiable tone. However, her words made the fat man cough up three liters of blood. Ten thousand and one gold coins? Are you joking? Shen Yang Xiao laughed and said, You see, didn't that other guest say that he will pay ten thousand gold coins to buy this slave? I am paying ten thousand and one gold coins which are naturally higher than his offer. And since he did not continue to increase his offer afterwards, 
So these slaves were naturally bought in accordance with the deal. But but some fat people almost cried in distress. Shen Yang Xiao never said how much she was going to pay. The key to the problem was that she didn't say any price beforehand. They did not know what price she was going to quote. Everyone was just shocked by the number of gold coins she kept pouring out and did not even notice these small details. If Shen Yang Xiao said at the beginning that she would be bidding 10,001 gold coins, the young man would not give up unless his head was flooded with water. However, she did not voice any price and people naturally thought of her move of constantly pouring money out as her constant increase of bid. This situation not only scared away the young man, but also made these merchants crazy. Although 10,001 gold coins were already a very high price for a slave, but could anyone who was seeing a pile gold coins in one place calmly accept this answer? Then what about 130,000 gold coins for buying a slave? What about being in overreach? Shen Yang Xiao exploited a loophole. No one could say anything. Those merchants could only withdraw their own share of money with a sad heart. As for the rest of the money, the number of slaves in their hands added together was only a few hundreds. How would they piece together 10,000 slaves for her? Chapter 629, You Have More Money Than Me? 4. The beginning was awfully contrived, and the process was astonishing. However in the end, this show of flaunting their wealth was finally over. Shen Yang Xiao now owned the two slaves. The crowd around her gave her space. It was only the six wolves who were depressed. You come over and collect the money for me. Shen Yang Xiao might look kind in the outside but inside, she was actually evil. Previously she had played with their minds, now she was playing with the body of the six wolves, enslaving them. Looking at the gold coins on the ground, the six wolves wanted to look up in the sky and scream. May the gods take this demon away. Before them was not a kind-hearted person but a demon. The six wolves could only kneel on the ground filled with gold coins and picked up the gold coins that weren't theirs. No one knew when did Fu to arrive at the brawny man's side. He slightly raised his legs to lift the brawny man who had been lying on the ground for a long time and help him get up. He then grabbed his shoulders and supported him. Futa had a tall stature and well proportioned physique. Such a beautiful young man actually dragged a brawny man who were as thick as an ox before Shen Yang Xiao. Is this a bonus? Shen Yang Xiao looked at the brawny man who had long been forgotten by everyone and silently nodded. The brawny man looked at Shen Yang Xiao with some excitement. When everyone was still immersed in their own world, the brawny man immediately knelt before Shen Yang Xiao. Today, I'm really grateful for this lady's great grace. In the future, I will repay back your kindness. The frail little Jew also walked to the side of the brawny man and followed him as she knelt down and said in a quivering voice, Thank you. Shen Yang Xiao put her hands on her chin and looked at this pair of brawny man and little girl. Don't tell me this is what they say that age doesn't matter, height is not a distance, and weight is not a pressure for an eloping super lovers. Shen Yang Xiao silently wiped her face and stopped her wild thoughts. You get up and stop giving me any thanks. I only bought you with money and not setting you free. But the big one and the small one didn't feel bad about it at all. Instead they said, it's enough that you didn't let that kind of animal buy little Jew. I'm really grateful to you. Even if you bought us to be cows, it is be better than little Jew following that person. They firmly and sincerely said their gratitude, the words that escaped from their mouth could stir up anyone's emotions. Shen Yang Xiao noticed something from the brawny man's words. Although that young man before was mentally challenged, but he seemed to be no different from an average rich kid. Why is he so afraid that the slave girl named Little Ju will be bought by that young man? He was obviously afraid and the center of his fear was that young man. But what exactly was making him afraid? Although Shen Yang Xiao was somewhat curious, she knew that it was not a good time to discuss this issue. Well, you two get up first. Shen Yang Xiao frowned slightly as she put aside the question for the time being. She took out two cloaks from her storage ring and threw it at them. It was still hard for her to accept that they were wearing such ragged clothes. Chapter 630 Rebuilding the city. 1. After giving the two people decent clothes, Shen Yang Xiao took out a few bottles of potions for the brawny man to treat his wounds. She heard him saying his name was Su He, 
and that little Jew's name was Yin Jujun. So he was very grateful for Shen Yang Xiao's care for them both. He had never seen an owner who would give slaves this kind of treatment. Through Su He, Shen Yang Xiao found the largest slave market in Forgotten Traces. There, Shen Yang Xiao bought 3,000 slaves with 30,000 gold coins. As Du Lang said, as long as she had enough money, she could buy enough people in forgotten traces. These 3,000 slaves were all trained by the merchants. They were very clever and did not know how to resist their owners. Shen Yang Xiao bought hundreds of carriages and loaded the slaves into them. She also distributed clothes and food for each slave. When the slaves were dressed in clean and tidy clothes, and as they were holding fresh food and boarding a brand new carriage, their nomais seemed to fluctuate. They had never thought that they could still live as human beings. It should be noted that most of the people who bought slaves in Forgotten Traces would have their slaves walk on foot. Occasionally, owners would treat them a little better, putting them in iron cages and towing them away in carts. No slave had ever been put in a carriage. The slaves felt very fortunate to have met a rare good owner. Not only did they have food to eat and clothing to wear, but even after Shen Yang Xiao had bought them, she had also unlocked the iron collars on their necks that symbolized slavery. You are not afraid of them escaping? Fu Ta sat in the carriage and asked, as he was looking at Shen Yang Xiao resting with her eyes closed. Shen Yang Xiao opened her eyes and said lightly, do you think they will escape? Fu Ta smiled. Slaves who have been taught to even cast their dignity away have long forgotten their instinct to escape. They are different from Suhi and Yin Jujun. Suhi and Yin Jujun had a desire to live, so they knew how to run away, but the 3,000 slaves had already been tortured by reality to the point of numbness. They were like puppets, they would act according to their owners' commands, not their own wills. Different? Shen Yang Xiao crooked her head to one side. She was thinking of another thing. Why was that young man so persistent on buying Yin Jujun? Why was Su He so against letting the young man buy her? Shen Yang Xiao felt that there was a lot of mystery with this pair of big and small ones that she had bought. Can these slaves really rebuild the city once we bring them back? Vicious Wolf, who was also sitting in the same carriage looked skeptically at Shen Yang Xiao. There should be no problem if we hand them over to Uncle Zhu, Shen Yang Xiao said. The group of people stopped talking and simply sat quietly in the carriage as they rushed through the barren land. After several days of rushing, the long queue of horses and carriages finally stopped outside the gates of the Rising Sun City. Returning with 3,000 slaves, Shen Yang Xiao completely solved their problematic shortage of manpower. However, on the outskirts of the Rising Sun City, the three groups of people who were hiding in three different directions saw the long queue of carriages in sight. Very soon, the news about these people would be passed on to several other cities in the barren land, 